Brian here. You may remember me from such internet video classics as Don't Be a Trademark Infringer and Install a Fence wow. on Your Laser Already. Anyway, the great uh, ornament push of 2022 has arrived and you may be looking for ways to spice up your already existing ideas or maybe you're just looking for ideas in general. Something that's been a hit for me this year, uh, these four inch ornaments has a uh, steamboat on the front with the year. Yes, I'm licensed to use steamboat. And a plain background. I also offer this with a text background that is Wyoming. This will be stained brown, just like the, uh, the plain one. You can see the repeating words in the background. Actually pretty cool. Fairly simple process in Lightburn, and let's see how to do that. All right, here's a depiction of what we're gonna try and recreate. Initially here, we're gonna write out the wording that you wanna do. Uh, ours is gonna be Wyoming. And we're gonna create an array uh, off of the word Wyoming. Uh, that shift by half, show you what it does here in a second. But we want a bunch of rows, a couple few columns, enough to be able to fit the circle inside of that array. Uh, shift by half, it shifts the second, fourth, sixth, eighth, row over uh, by half the width of whatever that design is. Really handy, uh, especially if you're doing uh, stuff other than words, like you're trying to set up a, a template or utilize the most amount of space uh, on, your, uh, on whatever wood you're cutting a project out of. Here, the X spacing, uh, that's gonna increase the amount of distance between the words for each individual word. I like them closer together. Same with the Y spacing, it increases and decreases the uh, rows, uh, that distance there. All right, now to make the circle that we're going to cut the words out of. If you hold down uh, Command and Shift while you're pulling out, it'll uh, expand it uh, from the center. Four inch circle is what our ornament size is. We're gonna want this circle to be a little bit smaller. So bring it over to the top part of the ornament get it centered up on there. And then make sure that that circle is bigger than the inside uh, opening of the front part of the ornament. Get it on the circle wherever you want it however you think it'll look the best. To make this work properly, you're gonna to wanna to have all of your letters or all of your words, that array that we created, that needs to be grouped. Then you select the group, and you select the circle, and you hit the Boolean intersection. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to put this on the back. So you're gonna, well, from this, we're gonna create a duplicate, but this is gonna go on the back piece of your ornament. Get it centered up there.
hey, thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, I think these would be a great addition to anybody's catalog uh, or this design type. Not this one exactly. Jeez. Come up with your own ideas. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you, and we'll uh, catch you here on the next one.